In this video, we're looking at tabs. Simply go to your left hand side to where it says pages. Go to where it says design and then find tabs. Drag it and drop it where you would like. In tabs, you can do so many things. This is tab one. I could click on it and then I can just call it my tab. Then I could call number two just by clicking on it. My tab, my tab. And then we call number three, my tab, my tab, my tab. But as you notice, that's kind of a big tab. I was going to say no tab. Just call it something. So you see we have three tabs here. If I want to change the design of these tabs, maybe I want the tabs on the left. There is the left tab. Tabs are on the bottom. Here's another look for the tabs on the bottom. Here's look for tabs on the right hand side. And here's another one, tabs on top. The difference between this one and the other one is that these tabs look more connected. As you see, here's one, and there's the body content, as opposed to this one, where it is disconnected. So, I'm going to go to color now, and I could change the background color of my tabs. Maybe we want purple, but maybe we want to just keep white. Uh, we want to a text. Let's make it a little bit darker. I like dark text in my tabs, but you could change it to any color that you want to. You could also change the textile, make it bold, and so forth. When you go to select a tab, right now you can notice that over here in the right, the selected tab is a light gray area. That's the background. But you could make it any color that you want to. So now that when your customer for instance, touches on the middle tab. Let's go to a preview here. They touch on the middle tab, it will turn into the selected tab. So you kind of give your viewers, your guests, a way to bookmark where they're at so they don't have to worry about knowing which tab that they're on. It automatically shows by the highlighted color. Let's go back in here to edit. Okay. You can mess with your settings if you want to by playing with the padding and the margin. And you can also modify your CSS. This is really how to work with your tabs. But let's show what we can do within the tabs. So I want to pretend that this, well, I already know that this one's selected. So if I want to add an image, I can just drag the image over and drop it in. And I will pick the shoes again. Maybe I want that to be a shoe that I can buy. So maybe I can drag a PayPal below it and I will fill out that information. Let's go back to preview here. So now we're on the first tab. You see there's nothing there. Well we added everything to the second tab. So now when your viewers tap on that second tab or the tab that you put your content in, they're going to come across your nice little handiwork. So that is how to play with tabs and how to add content and modify it. I will say this about the tabs. Let me go to the whole thing. Is that I have always found that most people use the tabs on the left. For some reason, most people like the tabs when they go to the left. But of course, this is yours now, and you can do whatever you want to here. Good luck, guys, and congratulations with knowing how to add tabs to your mobile site.